but it's always emotional to be around the Huey because it was everything to the guy in Vietnam. A life-saving helicopter and a decorated Army pilot were featured today at EAA's Air Venture. Patrick Brady earned the Medal of Honor 46 years ago. He flew the well-known Huey helicopters during the Vietnam War, and he spoke to hundreds of people today in Oshkosh, including Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe. Detachment. With a Huey right behind him, Patrick Brady explained the aircraft's impact on the Vietnam War. We had five birds, we covered all of Vietnam. The Bell UH-1 Iroquois, unofficially known as a Huey, is considered an icon of the war. The first combat mission for the Huey was in Vietnam. Brady described how it was used. Brought him in, brought him out, fed him, clothed him, brought his mail to him, and then picked him up when he was hurt. So the Huey is the most exquisite combat aircraft ever. While in Oshkosh, Brady also signed copies of his book about the war. In two tours in Vietnam, he flew more than 2,500 combat missions and rescued more than 5,000 wounded. Better than anything in life that I can think of. To overcome obstacles, to find a way to get him out, to get him to the hospital where the physicians can save his life, it's just a marvelous feeling. Nearly 3,500 medals of honor have been awarded since the Civil War. Brady received his in 1969, and he says when he found out he was getting it, he couldn't believe it. I said, yeah, you're kidding me, right? I had been selected earlier to be the Army Aviator of the Year, and I was getting a lot of gas from my fellow aviators and friends. Brady was awarded the medal after a series of rescues where he used three helicopters to rescue more than 60 wounded. At the end of the day, his aircraft had more than 400 holes from enemy fire and mines. Brady retired from the Army as a major general after 34 years of service. He now shares his story to keep history alive and inspire the next generation. I would say, without question, <clears throat> if you're going to go in the military, fly. I mean, it adds, a, it adds a dimension of beauty to your life that you would never otherwise experience. In Oshkosh, Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. Another warbird will be featured Friday at EAA Air Venture, a P-51 pilot who flew as part of the last mission of World War II is scheduled to speak at 1 p.m.